So Tim, the Asher addict, got in touch with me not too long ago on Instagram and said, do you want to do a calibra calibration? Do you want to do a collaboration? And I was like, hmm, let me think about this for a hot moment. Yes. Calibration. Collaborations are fun and I'm enjoying this so far. So the rules of the collaboration was that we're going to use a similar equipment as we possibly can. He uses a 102 e, uh, Apo chromatic telescope. I'm using an 80 millimeter ED doublet. He's using a Zwo ASI 294 MC Pro called color camera. I'm using a Alter Astro 183C Pro Tech called dedicated astronomy camera. He's using an IDAS emission boost nebula booster filter it's a tri-band filter which i believe his lets through s2 hn03 and i'm using an alta astro tri-band filter which lets through hb oxygen 3 and hydrogen alpha so they're as similar as we can get we decided on the tulip nebula in the constellation cygnus sh 2101 so it's in cygnus in this this really wonderful like half moon with some little like dark nebula. I think it looks like quite dark in the middle of it that resemble the stigma of a flower. So the tulip nebula. Other than that, it looking like a flower, it's a hydrogen region. So it's an emission nebula, which means it's great for these kind of filters because they isolate those glowy wavelengths that we are all so interested in. And I love narrowband imaging. And it's actually quite a shame that I went color to begin with, because I'd like to go narrowband, but that's all in good time and a lot more money, which I don't actually have. So other rules of the challenge was we're gonna have a three hour total integration time. I've already got about two hours. Tonight is the hopefully gonna be the third session if it clears up, the forecast says it's gonna clear up. Um, so I'll get my third hour tonight and then I'll probably move on to the Veil Nebula, which is something else I wanted to shoot in Cygnus anyway. Um, uh, he told me earlier that he's done. Um, he just needs to shoot his darks and it's been happening really hot in Germany at the minute. So he's not been able to do them during the day. And I live in England, so I live in England. What? We had a 37 degree day during the weekend and everyone was complaining and I was just like, this is glorious. So like I said, Tim is the Astro Addict. He goes by Astro Addict on, as far as I'm aware, all his social medias. Um, and I can't remember exactly how I found him or he found me. I can't quite remember the particulars of that. But, you know, he does YouTube as well. And I've checked his videos out. And he's very good at video editing. I really appreciate his editing style to his videos, his edit to music his sense of humor that he uses, After Effects, he, he puts a good show on and I really enjoy what he does. As for his imaging side, he's very competent astrophotographer as well. And um, I'm a bit nervous about this imaging challenge, but you know, it's, it's all just fun, isn't it? At the end of the day, though I am incredibly competitive and I want to win. I'm sure he does as well. Altair versus Zwo, you know what it's like. So, the particulars anyway, going just digressing, the particulars is we're going to take our images, we're going to show both images at the same time in our respective videos, image A and image B. So that way there's no bias, because if someone showed their image first, then you might get a hunch who's is who's. So we're going A, B in both of our videos. Back to Tim. He's, like I've already praised his video editing style, and honestly, I, I'm going to be watching his videos and picking bits out to add into my videos. He, he he has a great knowledge on it as well. Like he's very, he's a very knowledgeable individual and he presents very well. And if you haven't checked him out yet, if you're on my channel and you don't know who Astro Addict is, go check him out. I'm going to put it all in the description below. But he's just fun. And chatting to him on Instagram so far, he's been really humble and just Let's get this thing done. Um, edit it how you want to edit. We'll put a month time frame on it. If England is too cloudy because England, then we'll extend the time frame. So there's been no pressure, but geez, England. 
So it's just been very relaxing working with him. I don't know, but I'm glad to be doing this with him and he's just a nice guy to talk to. Don't like this wind. Uh, one issue is at the minute that we, because we're, this is a secret reveal, we can't actually show our screens, we can't show our processing, we can't show our framing masks. So with that in mind, the night part of the vlog is probably not gonna be that great, so I might just leave them out. But for now, Tim, wir glückt. And I probably butchered that pronunciation no end. Good luck. like we don't get out together enough like this. I think it's probably because of the difficulty lighting it. I have a panel light but I need to stand for it. But yeah I need to invest in an actual light to bring out here to make this better. So it's half past 11 now and uh, the subs seem to be rolling in nicely. Like, I can't show you again, because I can't show you, because I can't give away my composition. But you can see my PhD there. It's a struggle like no end, and now I'm getting quite a nice, nice flat graph, even during dither. And it still is even windy, so it's quite windy. And uh, it's behaving itself. See, I was up until like 3 a.m. last night, getting the subs I needed. Waiting for it to get properly dark, troubleshooting anything that came up, binning the ones that didn't turn out right. And uh, even tonight, like, PhD had a bit of a fit before it even wanted to start in working, so I've recalibrated it. But I was able to do that while it was still, like, twilight. So now it's actually imaging dark. So, get the pictures while I can, I only need like an hour and a half. I'm really tired tonight <laughs> and it's really windy so I'm just trying to get the subs I need and get inside. So with any luck by the end of tonight, tomorrow I can edit this. Um, I think me and Tim have given like two or three more weeks to edit, swap the photos, produce our videos. So I think I've got all the mid-roll and end-roll content I need. I just need to sort out <laughs> the intro. So let's say good night now. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you have clear skies. Have a nice day and all the best fortunes upon you. Bye bye.